All right, we are starting off the day here wading in the creek. This is a lot chillier than I thought it was gonna be. We should have put the waders on. I forgot, last night it got into the 40s and it's just really feeling like fall out here. Like it's nice, but this is, this is chilly, man. This stretch of the creek that you guys see us standing in and it flows all the way down that way, this is actually a fly fishing only section. If uh, this is one of your first times here, I am not extremely proficient at using this, but we're gonna give it a shot here. I haven't done it in a while and uh, yeah, it's a perfect day for this. So if you read the title of the video, we are going to be doing a little bit of a catch and cook. Chef First State's coming out, but uh, we are going to be eating the first fish that we catch. If that's any fish, hopefully we can freaking hook something with this. Once that starts going down, I'm telling you, it's gonna get chilly, but whatever is legal, first of all, and uh, yeah, if we can hopefully catch something on the end of this line, we're gonna take it home. We're gonna do some cooking up, some chefing, and hopefully, yeah, Chef First State is gonna make a fire dish. But again, um, we're gonna have to try to figure out how to catch something on this. That's objective number one for the day. Let's get this started, man. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so basically what we have on here, if you guys haven't seen this before, this is I think a Cabela's or Bass Pro, just like the default uh, fly fishing combo kit. It's actually pretty good for the price. And right here we have, I believe that is called a nymph, something like that. It's just got a little head on the top and just looks like a little like bug larva type dude, right? I think that's what we're gonna be throwing here first. But this is also in our bag and we've got some other flies too. My buddy uh, down in Colorado, or we were fishing in New Mexico, he gave me this, it's got a bunch of different flies on it. I'm probably not gonna throw that big freaking one, but we've got some cool looking dudes in there. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys can see how freaking clear this water is. Let me just see real quick. I know fly fishermen, when they come to new spots and they're trying to figure out what flies to throw you to look in the air or you can like do something like this and maybe you see some stuff anybody on that i think i'm doing this right let me try this rock that's not like as oh dude the freaking crawfish right there hello come here boy where'd he go you guys see that that was pretty cool i've never seen any crawfish in here oh there he is yeah there we go look at that that's pretty cool. So I don't think uh, I have any crawfish flies. Is that even a thing? Sure, if I went up there, there's like this beautiful little hole up there that I could throw this into with an actual spinning rod. I'd probably catch something nice. I'm gonna let that dude back though. It is your lucky day today, my guy. Look how clear that is. Can you guys see that? Look at him right there. Oop, oh, there he goes. Back to what we were doing. Was there even anything? I, guys, to be honest, I don't really know. Please, in the comment section below, any fly guys, if you can help me out. Oh, here's some stuff. Look at that. Tiny little buggers right there. You see them moving around? I don't for I, I don't I don't know. These fish gotta be feeding on something. So basically, we are gonna be looking for our first fish, the one that we're gonna take home and eat. Again, in a creek like this, you really never freaking know. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. If you guys saw the last creek fishing video. It was very surprising to me. We actually found some trout, and uh, that means that there could be some trout over here as well. I'm not even gonna put a split shot on this or anything. I'm just gonna drift this into here, see if I remember how to do this, because honestly, I really don't. Try not to get stuck in any trees. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just drift this downstream. Merely, merely down the stream. Life is but a dream. This is going a little fast. I probably need a split shot if I'm going right here. All right, let's walk down this way a bit further. Get that technique back here a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not. On the other side of the creek, it's a big old drop off. Oh, that was not the cast we were looking for. I completely forget how I'm supposed to be freaking doing. And we gotta avoid leaves too. In the fall, that's like our worst enemy. I don't know, fly fishing wise. I'm sure it is too, because I just jumped on one right there, but freaking leaves, man. This is uh <laughs> This is gonna be interesting, man, to see. First of all, if I can even catch a fish, that's gonna 
be very interesting and then also to see what it actually is going to be because last time we were at the creek we came to a different spot than you know any times i normally go out to creek fish we caught some dudes that were just different along with the trout you know it wasn't any of those smallies or largies or well we got some red breasts like obviously those are always this is just the homies at this point but yeah we we're catching some interesting shiners some chubs just some cool stuff that i'm not really used to catching on all our creek fishing adventures this summer all right we're gonna let this dude go i haven't been mending i forgot that that's what it's called right when you like do this with the yellow stuff see if anything picks this up and then we're just going to continue down there's a really 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 good spot down there that i want to get to all right again i don't know if i said this or not dude it gets dark right now over here Yeesh. but if any of you guys the fly guys out there have any suggestions on what to throw let me know man would appreciate it really really going to be on the lookout for some trout too don't know if i want to catch and cook the trout just because they've survived from the spring stocking and it's basically, like it is fall actually again. I keep saying basically fall. Like when it gets to hoodie season, if it's like, you know, it's like fall or whatever, but it's like actually fall now. Oh, it gets deep right here. I'll tell you what though, this is the coldest I have felt these creeks in a long, long, long time. Oh, I got a fish. Dude, I got a fish. Hold on. I don't know how to fight it. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I don't. Okay, what is this? <laughs> okay. Well, we've got something. First fish of the day, if he doesn't flop off right now. This, I believe, I think. Let me look real quick. I was going to wet my hand, but I guess it doesn't exactly matter. That is... Wait, what are you? I'm gonna look this up real quick, see if I can actually take this dude. But yeah, super beautiful stripe on its side. Really, really, really cool looking fish. Whoop, that fish is not gonna be coming home with us. If I catch another one of those, I'm gonna look it up. Well, I guess it's eating the first fish we catch and actually don't drop. Professional catch and cooker. It's all good, man. Maybe we get a fat, plumper one. There we go. There we go. What is that now? Same thing. Okay, we're we're in luck. <laughs> I'm gonna take this dude over here to the right a little bit so we don't do that again. Let me do some looking up real quick. BRB. All right. Well, hold on. Maybe we are some fly fishermen. I'm uh, going to pop the name up on the, of this fish on the screen right here. Let me see if uh, we can hook up into anything else. It seems to be some fish loaded up. There's like a cinder block, like a uh, cylindrical cinder block. Say that five times fast. But right to the left of that seems to be something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's looking like fall. There's like a bumblebee stuck in that too. Fallen soldier. Maybe I should be throwing a bumblebee fly. I'm actually starting to like, my legs are starting to get a little bit numb. We are approaching on the spot where, last time I came here, I saw a bunch of trout. So hopefully there's still some dudes hanging out here, but just a bunch of fish in general. It's right under this little doohickey of a bridge. But yeah, I don't know if it's because my legs are like half working and ankles right now, but I almost like broke my freaking whole body like three times. Traveling down here. Whew. Whew. I don't know what the heck kind of fish those are, but I see some stuff. Whew. Bro, I threw like everything I had at these freaking. I don't know what the heck, but I just left. There's actually a uh, shout out to some of y'all came up, said what's up, but they're going down there with a spinning rod and worms and it's a fly fishing only section. Please like 
don't be that guy, man. Make sure to follow like the regulations in your state and stuff because that's honestly why a lot of those trout are still down in the fly fishing only section. It's because like catch and release with fly is like way more sustainable than like if you throw worms most of the time if you're not quick right away with it like we were, if you guys saw last video up here this is not the fly fishing only section but uh yeah they gulp it and it, they just did bye bye trout so that's unfortunate i mean they were cool but don't like seeing that So as you guys saw, uh, I am not the best fly fisherman. It wasn't for a lack of effort, but I think, first of all, I think my leader line, like I broke it off a while ago and it was a little too thick. It wasn't like the super fine tippet I needed, but also I just, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. What do you think, dude? You ready to try some fish? He's not gonna be trying any. Let me throw a bar real quick. Sit. Ready? Come on, come on, come on. Skeeter's out here, dude. Back in the kitchen with Chef First State. For those of you who uh, do not know, I'm still at my parents' house right now. Kelsey and I live full-time in an RV. We're actually about to get married and then just, yeah, this whole summer we were just visiting and um, put the RV in storage. Just staying at my parents' house here in Delaware. We're actually, okay, so over the next couple weeks, we're gonna be doing some traveling. As I said, we're gonna kind of be going up north doing some pretty cool fishing I've been wanting to do. But also, I mentioned a while ago that we were kind of in the market for a house. Um, I, I mean, we're getting older and just the RV stuff is fun, but we kind of could really use a home base while we're doing that stuff. So we kind of been looking around, but I just don't, life is hard, man. First of all, interest rates and everything is up right now, but it'll go down, I guess, in the future, we refinance. We've been learning a lot of house stuff, but how do you like, I don't know, how do you know where you want to live? Like there's pros and cons to everywhere. And you know, realistically, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this is what we got going on right here. So I kept this dude on some ice in my bag. Look at those shiny colors right there. So this is a parent's kitchen, but today it is Chef First Day's kitchen. We got the pan ready. And I actually think that this is gonna be pretty cool. Like if we continue to do challenges like this, we will try a lot more species of fish that probably would never have eaten this I know I joked about it in a video a couple videos ago, but I, here we are <laughs> with the freak, man. So real quick, I'm just going to gut this dude and take everything out. And uh, next step, we will show y'all. Look at those colors, man. She is a beauty. All right, so there is the finished product. Take a look in there. Kind of like, I mean, I could see people eating these sort of like a sardine. I think it has a decent amount of bones in it, but also, I mean, you could just eat it whole if you cooked it the right way. We are going to start this. I put some Pam in there and we're just going to put do it like that and then really quickly i think i kind of just want to get the flavor of the fish so we're just going to put a little bit of this cajun dude on there all right nothing fancy this is a science experiment this isn't gordon ramsay here i don't know how this is going to be but again if you guys want to see more videos like this go down there hit the thumbs up button and let me know uh what other kind of stuff you guys want to see honestly always up for uh any video recommendations y'all have and if you made it this far in the video, if you're not already, hit the subscribe button if you like this stuff and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Oh yeah, look at that. Now doesn't that just look scrumptious? It'll be interesting to see, like, let me know if you guys ever had this again because this is like a survival meal right here. If you were seriously stuck in the woods, like near a creek or anything that has these creek chubs, like little rivers or streams and stuff like that, I'm sure that, I mean, these dudes are abundant. I'm sure they'd, they'd be a good source to help you survive and get to your helicopter and meet bear grills on the way out. Definitely, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, she don't look the most appetizing. It's almost done though, I literally just started cooking it too. Hey man, you relaxing? How does it feel to know your parents are getting married, huh? What do you think? What do you think of that? He's like, please. <laughs> Sir, please. I'm just feeling good, man. I I'm happy right now. Lots of stuff going on. But uh, it, it's fall, football's back. We got apple cider on day. Hold, hold on a second. Shout out Milburn Orchards, best apple cider donuts I ever had. 
just a good time of the year though. I'm sending positive vibes to y'all. Let's try this fish. She is done. Or he. Let's see if I can turn this light on. Does that help at all? Probably not really. Let's do some experimentation science observations here. Looks pretty white. Look at that. Can you see steam coming off? I mean, that looks pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah, so that's what I was talking about. You guys can see all the bones in it right there. I mean, that's just to be expected. Let's try to get all the bones out of this piece. All right, that's a tiny, oh, dropped it. That's a tiny bite. We're gonna try that here first. No bones. I, huh, I can taste the seasoning. The fish, I mean, it's, is it weird to say it's almost like bluegill? Like the fish itself doesn't have too much of a strong, like I thought, I don't know why, but I thought one of those little fish would have like a strong like anchovy type flavor. I've never eaten an anchovy, but I feel like it would taste super fishy just from the name. But uh, yeah, that is totally, like if I was surviving, I would demolish these. And then me and Bear Grylls would dab up at the end, fly on the helicopter and be a good day. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video again. Let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Don't want this fish to go to waste. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support. I gotta say, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.